What I'd like to see is an arrow that tells you it's this way or it's that way. Um, maybe how far away it is, something like that. But I, I think it will be okay. I, th I think it'll, I just like the progress, you know. Nice to see my tax dollars at work. So if you've driven on 95 lately, you've probably seen Rhode Island is going big in its efforts to welcome in visitors. Two 10-foot tall signs are being installed. It's all part of DOT's ongoing project to beautify the airport connector. The sign installation on 95 North, for example, is complete. A last check, though, the one on the southbound side is still missing a few of its letters. I just recently got a viewer question into our Ask Allison series about the signs, too. David writing, wondering if a Rhode Island company constructed and installed signs on Route 95 entrances to the airport. So I reached out to DOT who tells me directly that Manafort out of Cumberland, Rhode Island is the prime contractor and that they're responsible for hiring out the subs, of course. For the sign, DOT tells me the sub the contractor hired for the signs is Art FX Signs out of Bloomfield, Connecticut. Here's the president of that company speaking with NBC10. I've been doing work in Rhode Island for many years and uh, we're licensed in Rhode Island and Connecticut. Um, this job was a really super intense job. The letters are 10 feet tall. At one time, we had two sets of Rhode Island letters in our shop. It was kind of like uh, a metallic stone henge. <laughs> DOT will be installing thanks for visiting signs along the airport connector as well. They say flowers and decorative signs will also be placed at the signs by the airport too. The airport connector project, by the way, began last year. It will cost the state around $12.9 million and the project is supposed to be completed by June. Do you have something you want me to look into? You can call 455-9123 and leave a short voicemail with one question on it or email a question to askallison at wjar.com.